Mayor, Counselor Juan Garcia. Cuanto más sufrimiento para que haya cambio, how much more suffering must we endure before we see change? This is from the owner of Primo's Tire Repair Shop on Picacho. This after four vandal attacks and thousands of dollars in material and time losses. Very limited English, frustrating and infuriating. Hardworking man attempting to earn an honest living victimized by the Las Cruces criminal element. Cuanto más? How much more? Police reports filed. Counselor for District 2 running for re-election, quoted in the bulletin. The city council must address the root causes of our most pressing crime and public safety challenges by investing in public health approaches to interrupt cycles of trauma and addiction. If mental health and drug addiction is so bad in this community, why aren't you demanding the governor change course and instead invest in a local mental and, and addiction treatment center? Why do we need four abortion clinics? You blame the DA or Judge Goldbaum or other social issues, never the criminal. No mention of personal accountability and responsibility or consequences for criminal behavior or toughening current laws. <clears throat> Consider pointing at the state representatives and senators who have adopted an in-the-bunker mentality avoiding the issue while you focus on interrupting the cycles of trauma. Cuanto más, the grassroots Las Cruces Hall of Shame list of forgotten victims stands at about 84. This is not even the tip of the victims. This is not from police reports. These are actual real people that have been impacted. Will fixing the cycle of trauma give results in six months or another election cycle? And how many more times will Primo's tire repair shop or Carlos or Cesar's be broken into before we see change? Or how many small businesses will close? Same question, quanto mas? Albuquerque General, 5 August, Sydney Wilson, fatally shot when she confronted a group of teens about her stolen car and called 911 to report seeing her stolen car. It was the fourth time Wilson called 911. Wilson was frustrated with the lack of help from police after tracking the car for days, watching a bunch of young kids. A 13-year-old thug shot and killed this 23-year-old lady who was trying to recover what was stolen from her. How soon before we see this type of frustration spill into the streets of Las Cruces? Same question. Cuanto mas? Thank you. Uh, Rod, I'm sorry.